Hello, this is Solar PVTV from SPI 2016. And now we are together with, um, how to say, the guys who are building a relationship on the US market uh, with um, Steve, who is working for LTI RE Energy, and Wayne, who is working for Renew Petra. So it was quite interesting because actually, I was supposed to make an interview with Steve and uh, we are discussing about potential customers and stuff. And he's saying, Tomasz, hold on, there's uh, some guys you know, coming here. So let's make a panel together. So um, I would like to ask you first, guys, for giving short introduction. Maybe not uh, too much about Steve and LDI because we are speaking about LDI a lot of times, but uh, f especially about your uh, future partner. So when could you introduce your company, but also tell us more about your background? Absolutely, absolutely. Wayne Marshall, we, uh, I was originally working for one of the large utilities in the United States. Uh, left that about 10, 12 years ago and really they started out with, as an engineering company supporting the renewable sector and the energy efficiency sector. As, as things have developed in the states, particularly in the southeastern United States, a lot of renewable projects have come our way and, and we've had an opportunity to support those. Um, that's sort of taken us from doing engineering work to supporting the investment community, to actually beginning to construct those projects, to staying in as an investor in those projects, and even operating those projects. So we're sort of all the way from the beginning development of the project, all the way through to co the construction. To IPP. And operate. Yes, an IPP, yes. So uh, I would like to ask uh, Steve, actually, why, why you wanted me to also in introduce to the panel discussion Wayne? So uh, Wayne's company, Renew Petra, is the classic type of customer that we're looking for is to say he's a company that's doing the develop EPC and staying in the projects and we're working on our partnership work with them that our products are very well fitting for the North Carolina market and in fact we've talked about some investment projects with them and also some of the other development pipelines so we see it as a good fit and a good partnership and and they're they're growing their share in North Carolina and we want to be part of it with them. So which is your let's say recipe for making business in the United States? So we're looking for long-term strategic partnerships with customers and Renew Petra is, is one of the ideal ones because they're doing development, construction, and the O&M. So they're staying in the projects and these types of customers are more likely to value some of the products that we offer. Our product is um, an enclosed system which is a little bit more rugged, uh, it's easier to service and the customers that are staying in the projects can see the value in that. Now I would like to ask you guys uh, about what is your opinion about the current status of the US market. We see that this year we have uh, an enor enormous growth and do you also expect that this growth will remain for the year 2017? Uh, absolutely, we, we certainly see uh, the biggest challenge for the industry is regulatory as much as anything right now and understanding where the best opportunities are from a regulatory perspective. That said, certainly with the tax credits in place that, and, continue, and the stabilization of those credits over the next several years, we see a continued steady growth in the marketplace. Uh, we're very active in the southeast. We've done projects all over the United States, but particularly in the southeast, and we continue to see that market uh, is going to grow. Probably the biggest pressure is price pressure, candidly, on equipment and on the, the EPC firms to be able to continue to drive cost out because we continue to see the cost of a kilowatt hour drop, which sounds strange, but because oil and gas prices continue to stay low, there's continuing price pressure on that. Yeah, you know, the market continues to grow. Markets are opening in regions where they hadn't existed in the past. And of course, there's very severe price pressures in every place in the value chain. And that's one of the features. We have a highly integrated product, so it takes some of the EPC cost out of, out of, out of Wayne's scope of work mm -hmm. when, when they're using our type of product. So collectively, everybody in the value chain is, has big pressures on them, and we, we have, have to have innovative solutions to drive out cost. So, uh, the last question, guys, how do you see the long-term perspective let's say the development of the US market and maybe eventually of your partnership. Absolutely, I, certainly from the US market standpoint, I, I think we continue to see utility grade projects are going to grow. We're going to continue to see the commercial, what I'd call net metering projects grow as well because that's, there's a big pent up demand for that that's coming. I think the relationship, we're looking for long-term partners. Kenley, that's part of what started the dialogue is we're both looking for long-term partnerships. We're just trying to make sure that there's a right fit between what we need in the field, what they have to offer, and candidly, as the marketplace gets more technical, we're looking for partners who bring that technical resource with them. And uh, I think that you have like around 30, 
50 megawatt of the projects realized, Correct. but uh, your plans are more ambitious. Yeah? As, absolutely, we continue to look to grow the mar in the marketplace, both through acquisition as well as per building projects. And we see that mix continuing to grow next year and into 2019. So we've got a, a pretty good five-year plan that we're working off of right now. We'll see what happens with the tax credits after that, but we certainly believe that we've got a, a nice ramp here for the next foreseeable. Okay, so before giving uh, the mic to Steve, I would like to ask you to present uh, Renew Petra in five years. In five years, I think we're probably operating uh, somewhere between 200 to 300 megawatts of projects where we're ongoing operations and maintenance. We're continuing to build projects. They're probably larger projects on the utility scale. But we're also very active in the commercial market by that time because the net metering market has matured. And with that, we continue to see ourselves being someone who's going to do solar as well as biogas and those larger projects together. But we, we certainly see ourselves continuing to grow. What about uh, Steve? Yeah, I see the same thing, is that, but the market also is going to include a significant amount of energy storage by 2019 or whatever the time frame is. And, uh, that uh, cost curve is coming down, and from an LTI perspective, we're a power conversion company, so a battery pretty much looks like a solar cell, and uh, we can do both. And from the operator perspective, he has the same platform that he's maintaining and servicing for, for either technology. Battery storage changes the game for the solar industry because the load profile, the, the, the way we produce energy right now from a solar perspective, doesn't always fit really well with what the utility marketplace needs. If we can change that curve and we can change the way we're responding, then I think we will, all will see a lot more success. But it's that battery technology, that storage technology that's really going to change, be a game changer for this marketplace. So you also will integrate uh, storage in your products, yes? Absolutely, we're already doing firm capacity through other technologies and we're looking for that. Uh, we've got customers who are willing to take sort of that first risk but we certainly want to see some successful technology implementation and we're working with some of the larger utilities trying to figure that out ourselves. But I, I want to see battery storage as much as anybody right now. You see Steve, so this is another opportunity for you to work with these guys. <laughs> as I said, uh, the, power, the inverter companies have a position in storage and also in, in the direct PV. So our platform is, is the same platform and um, it's, it, it really will enable the growth of solar because it changes the value of the energy that's being produced. When you shift it in time to the time of the day where it's worth more money, it's worth more money. Okay, so thank you so much, uh, guys, for this interview. And I will not keep you busy because you are still into the uh, negotiation process. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. <laughs> thank you so much. That was Solar PV TV together with uh, Wayne from uh, Renew Petra and also with Steve from LTI RE Energy the guys who are now discussing very important partnership. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you.